temperature is rising and population is growing. New housing solutions for the marginalized low income are being introduced. These houses are replacing the horizontal slums with little regards to health and energy burdens. In Global South, flats of 25 square meters are homes to families of 5 to 11. Indoor temperature are projected to increase by 22% causing extreme heat stress. This makes affordable housing a critical climate and health challenge. Extreme heat affects people disproportionately. Women are more affected than men as they spend 40% more time indoors. But can these affordable housing adapt to the extreme heat burdens? We spoke to 25 households in Ethiopia and India to understand what does heat mean to them. This place is more hot than the slums. I feel suffocated even when I am standing in the balcony. There are mosquitoes. We cannot sit outside. In the slums, we never fell sick so often. Here, it has increased 10 times. The sliding windows cannot be opened fully. We want windows that are fully open. I take shower and adjust my clothing for the night time. Sometimes I dip my foot in water to cool myself. It is more hot here because there are no green trees nearby. We like sitting under trees in extreme heat days. The poor quality roof causes more heat indoors. It should have external shading. The residents suggested design solutions to make their homes more comfortable to live in during heat. A good home is one that is climate resilient and can decouple health stress and energy burdens from poverty penalty. A different design approach is needed to build climate resilient homes that respect cultural norms and are a place for well-being and growth. Films are the most accessible media to reach a wide range of audience. We chose films to disseminate our research results with policymakers. Additionally, the films provide the participants a feedback of our research, as well as it provides them and empowers them to uh, negotiate with community leaders. It also helps them visualize their views, which is uh, immensely empowering. Cambridge Creative Encounters provided us a platform to engage with illustrators and animators who provide a creative outlet to our complex scientific research results. Working with Meda was fun, informative, as well as a learning process. She has a unique storytelling style which befitted our goals. Her animation development process provided us with the insights of how to tell the research to a general audience. This will help us maximize the impacts of the research. So how we started making homes uh, was that we started a conversation um, and Renita shared with me um, a huge amount of data and information and interviews and photos that she had and then we had to um, try and bring down all of these to a two minutes um, time of, um, of course, a medium that we have many different elements, but still uh, compared to amount of um, information and data that was there and we wanted to convey, um, the time was very, very limited. Also, obviously, the um, scientific language is a most economical language to talk about very um, complex matters um, that has many different um, aspects. Um, and then to simplify that language in order to um, share it with um, uh, public um, that was that was an, another interesting task that um, was in hand and um, in order to do that it was first for me to um, understand um, a lot of um, things that were not necessarily um, um, very um, easy at the beginning. I enjoyed a lot working on the project. I've been um, trusted a lot uh, with a lot of decisions 
and I'm very grateful for that. Um, and I feel way more confident uh, working um, with um, research-based projects and scientific projects. And I look forward to do more.